Hi everyone, welcome to MSPE. Today's topic is biliary intraepithelial neoplasia. We are going to see the basic histomorphological features of high-grade and low-grade dysplasia. Biliary intraepithelial neoplasia or BIL-IN is a pre-malignant condition. It's a microscopic non-invasive flat to micromapillary lesions confined to the lumen of gallbladder or bile duct. A two-tier classification is followed nowadays. Former BILIN 1 and 2 are now classified as low-grade dysplasia, whereas BILIN 3 corresponds to a high-grade dysplasia, also categorized as carcinoma in situ. Peribiliary glands are located in the wall of large bile ducts, serving as stem cell niches for biliary epithelium. Differentiating points in this context are histomorphology, extent of mucosal involvement that can be limited or extensive, absence of desmoplastic stroma that indicates non-invasiveness, peribiliary gland involvement, KI67 proliferation index, and immunohistochemistry including P53, S100, IMP3, etc. There are certain histomorphological features that favor reactive ATP, mild nuclear changes, pseudostratification, small to inconspicuous nucleoli, it lacks abnormal architectural pattern like micropapillary, top chain, or cribriform. Background acute and chronic inflammation, stromal hemorrhage, it often affects deeper aspect of epithelium with basophilia and surface maturation. ATP is focal in a background of normal appearing epithelium. Gradual transition from normal epithelium to reactive epithelium, mitotic activity may be brisk. Although histomorphology remains the standard, in difficult cases, a wild-type P53 stain in conjunction with negative IMP3 staining may support a diagnosis of reactive atypia over dysplasia. Low-grade bilin is having mild cytoarchitectural atypia, such as mostly flat growth pattern with focal micropapillary or pseudopapillary patterns, hyperchromatic nuclei with high NC ratio and pseudostratification, preserved nuclear polarity, involvement of relatively small foci of areas, periviliary glands are rarely involved. In case of difficult cases, immunohistochemistry may aid in the diagnosis, KI67 proliferation index is mild to moderately increased, P53 is usually negative or wild type, P16 immunostain is relatively preserved, S100 and IMP3 stains are mild to moderately increased. High-grade bilin is characterized by more complex patterns such as micropapillary, papillary, cribriform, or tufting. Complete loss of nuclear polarity and budding of cell clusters into the lumen. Markedly pleomorphic nuclei, frequent mitosis, involvement of relatively extensive area, peribiliary gland involvement is common, and high-grade bilin may extend to involve Rokitin's chaos of cyanosis. One must not confuse this for invasion. High-grade bilin arising in the setting of hyalinizing cholecystitis may demonstrate fewer atypical cells clinging to the stroma mimicking a denuded pattern. As described, IAC may help in difficult cases. KI67 proliferation index is markedly increased. P53 is frequently positive. Decreased P16 staining pattern. A100 and IMP3 stains are diffuse and strong. Low-grade bilin is of no clinical significance, whereas high-grade bilin warrants a thorough sampling to rule out any evidence of invasive carcinoma.